old southern style A new religion that'll bring you to your knees Hi guys, this is Jamie from Medium Rare Musicians. Uh, so I've been using the Shaw KSM 27 for about four or five years now. Um, it's a cardioid condenser microphone, um, and I hardly ever record vocals, but when I do, the Shaw has been a safe bet. But I recently picked up the PCK700, the Taxstar microphone, for about 100 Australian dollars from Artist Guitars. I'll put a link in the description. And I was curious as to how it stacked up. For the difference in price, I have to say I was very impressed. So here's the Taxstar. I'm recording with it right now into my Focusrite audio interface, recording into Cubase. It's also a cardioid condenser microphone designed for vocals or acoustic, just like the Shure. I won't get too technical, but I'll put a link in the description to the technical specifications for both the Taxstar and the Shure. On screen right now, I'll put the frequency response graphs for your viewing pleasure. In terms of its build, the Taxstar is quite a solid microphone. A metal build weighing in at about 300 grams, which is roughly 100 grams lighter than the Shure. The shock mount is aluminium just like the Shaw, and has elastics to reduce the bumps. The only small difference I can find with the microphones, aside from the obvious shape, is that the Taxstar has a plastic connector to the stand uh, with metal thread, whereas the Shaw is completely metal. And then there is the neat little pop filter, which comes with the Taxstar microphone, and the Taxstar also comes with a nice false leather case. So what does it sound like? Well, given that I don't sing, I got my good friend Jack in to test. She was the vocalist in my old band and currently sings with the Megahertz. Now, take in mind, she just stepped out of a four hour rehearsal and her voice is a bit raw. Speaking of raw, this recording I'm about to show you is raw and mono, and you're probably best to listen with headphones. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three, four. The way that you smile the touch of your kiss no one sat me down and got me ready for this capital style the swing of your hips i didn't think that i could get knocked out like this move slow tell me which way to go Slow, fast, let's make it last Cause your sweet face in the morning And your sweet love in the night Just that thought sends my heart soaring And the way it feels can only be right so I could have just played you the tax star or the shore. Maybe it's just me, but I really struggle to tell the difference when recorded. Perhaps the shore is a little more sensitive, but I could just be imagining it. Here it is again, just the tax star with a little bit of mixing. The way that you smile, the touch of your kiss. No one sat me down and got me ready for this. Capital star. The swing of your hips I didn't think that I could get knocked out like this Move slow Tell me which way to go Slow fast Let's make it last Cause your sweet face in the morning And your sweet love in the night Just that thought sends my heart soaring And the way it feels can only be right So my verdict is this in the limited time that I've been using it, I am very impressed with the Taxstar PCK700. Decent vocal mics can be damn expensive. I think the newer model of the KSM27 is over 500 Australian dollars, which is pretty far out of reach for beginners. 
So for a hundred bucks, yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, Shure is a really well-known brand and you really can't go wrong with their microphones. But having used this as well as the Taxstar drum mic set, I can safely say these cheaper alternatives really are a decent choice, particularly for beginners or just getting into the craft of recording. It performed perfectly as a vocal mic. Uh, the clarity was surprisingly good, um, as good or as the KSM 27, at least it was to me, and it worked really well as a uh, podcast microphone for doing YouTube videos such as this, when you want to have a really clean, crisp voice that picks up all of the highs and the lows. I also really like that it comes with a pop filter um, and a case, since it's a big plus for someone who travels around. There's only a few small things that I didn't like, the way you secure the microphone to the stand is a little bit fiddly and while it is lighter than the Shure, it sticks out more and neither of them worked on a desktop stand, uh, they just fell over which is a little bit frustrating if I want to do this kind of thing, I have to set up a, um, a full mic stand. So let me know if you can hear the difference between the two microphones and what you think that was. Uh, or if you have one of these, uh, let me know what you think of it. I've put a link in the description if you want to go pick one of these up. That's all from me. Cheers. Hey there guys, this is Jamie from Medium Room Musicians and we've been recording with the Tac Star 7 mic set, DMS7AS. And it's a fairly standard 7 mic um, set with bass drum mic, 3 toms, a snare and 2 condenser overheads.